Hey guys, Ephraim here once again, and let's continue with making our awesome game. Um, let's recap what we did last time. Um, we have learned that everything in the world is a game object, so that includes cameras, uh, spheres, characters, cubes, lights. And uh, on a game object, you can attach components. So for example, on the sphere, we've attached a character controller, and then we move that one around by using a script component that we attach to this game object. Okay, now our game is, uh, is, is getting more fun with the, with the second. We can move our sphere around and we can fall off the platform. So yay for that. But uh, it still looks kind of gray and it still looks kind of boring. So let's turn this cube into a character. Now, uh, so let's rename this sphere and call it um, Worm. Okay. And usually, let me add a disclaimer here, if you want to make an awesome character, I would not recommend trying to make a character in Unity. Unity is not made to uh, do modeling, so you can use other modeling software for that, like Carrera or 3D Studio Max, Maya, uh, or any other software package for that. But in this case, we're trying to learn what Unity is all about, so I'm going to uh, do this uh, for this exception only and make the character in Unity a little bit, since it's a simple game that we're making anyway. So let me click this sphere and go to the Y uh, view. So let's look at it from the top. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this sphere into a really cheesy worm. And the, the, the worm exists of multiple segments. And then we're going to turn it into, into an action shooter. And every time the worm gets shot, one of the segments gets lost until um, you're basically dead. So um, right click the worm and hit duplicate. And this will duplicate the sphere. Uh, and then move it, move it away from the uh, from the other sphere. Now, what we've duplicated is not just the sphere, but also all its properties. So, what we need to do is we need to get rid of this character controller here. Remove that component. Um, and before you can do that, you have to um, remove the script first because it requires the character component. So, let's remove the script, then remove the character controller, and now it's just a simple mesh. Um, and then let's duplicate this one one more time oh, and rename it uh, body part one duplicate that perfect and call this body part two now uh, that doesn't look all that exciting much so let's go to the X um, view and then scale this one down using the scale tool. Now you can scale individual components if you want, like by selecting the handles. Um, in this case, we're just going to scale the middle so that scales everything uniformly. Scale this down a little bit, then select the other one, scale it down even more. Then we're going to use the move tool to put them on the same height, basically. And I'm kind of using the grid in the background to, to do that. And the third one, move them in a little closer. So these are the body per parts of the worm or caterpillar, if you want, if you will, that um, can get hit. Uh, perfect. Okay, so now we have three spheres in our world, uh, but the problem is they're all scattered across the hierarchy. So instead, um, let's use the worm as a base, and then grab body part one, and then move it on top of the worm. And what it will do is it will, it will create body part as a child of the worm. And that makes sense because now when we select the worm, it, the whole worm is selected except for body part two. So let's drag that one in as well on top of worm. And now the whole thing is becoming one game object. And that makes sense because now we have one character controller and one move around script for, um, for the whole worm. Okay, let's see what this looks like when, when we play the game. Um, and I've seen, I'm seeing that I made a little error here because I made the back to front. <laughs> so we can, um, we can change that real quick by just moving this one around to the other side. And then the third one. Perfect. Now let's make our character a little bit more lovable by adding some eyes. So let's do game object, create other, and then another sphere. Scale this one down using the scale tool and maybe scaling it a little bit um, up as well let me see nah, never mind um, move this one 
in his head basically. Let's see how this looks in 3D. Not that good yet. Make a little this oh sorry. I just dragged the game view out. Let's put that back. Um scale this a little bigger. And let's name this um, left eye. Then duplicate it. Move it. And call it right eye. Then let's make sure we're looking exactly from the front. And then move both, both of these a little bit more in the middle of the head right there. All right, let's move those on top of the worm as well to uh, make them part of the worm. And now when we run our game, we have a caterpillar moving around. Now again, I don't really recommend doing this in Unity. Um, if you really want to make a cool character, use a modeling uh, software instead. But, you know, it will work for now. Maybe later we can add some, some delay to the time that these spheres are following the worm so that it looks a little bit more worm-like than it is now um, but it will do for now and then um, uh, we can add some action to make this uh, worm fight the other ones that will add 